guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am back today with a tutorial for the look on my face right now. As you can probably tell, I was inspired by the color blue today for today's look. And there's one eyeshadow that I've been wanting to use ever since I picked it up a couple of weeks ago that I knew for sure had to be the star of today's look. And this is the ColourPop Super Shock eyeshadow in the shade Too Shy. And this is my all-time favorite blue eyeshadow across every brand ever. I know that's a lot to say and that's such a prestigious title to have for just one little eyeshadow, but I like this eyeshadow made my entire life so much better. I know you can't really tell right now because it's directly in the lighting, but this is the most beautiful duochrome eyeshadow ever. Like you can kind of see the blue right there, obviously, and you shift it just a little bit like that and you can see the purple flecks in it. It's such a beautiful duochrome eyeshadow. If you guys enjoyed this look, of course, give it a like and subscribe if you're not already. If you have any comments or requests for future videos, leave those all down below. So with that being said, guys, I love you guys so, so much. If you want to learn how to get this look, please keep on watching and enjoy. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So the first thing we're going to do besides play with our messy ass hair is apply this NYX eyeshadow base in the shade white to our lids and blend that all over the lid. And then we're going to set this base down with a white eyeshadow from my Take Me To Brazil palette from BH Cosmetics. And then we're going to go into the NYX Love Contours All Palette and pick up this beautiful mid-tone matte brown color. And that's going to be the first shade we're going to put into our crease. And then we're going to go back into the Take Me To Brazil Palette and we're going to pick up this beautiful baby bluish, like vivid baby blue color. And we're going to blend that into the crease as well. And now we're going to pick up this deep teal, almost turquoise color. We're going to put that into the outside corner. And once we're done doing this, we're going to take a clean brush and just blend all the harsh edges out. And then we're going to pick up the ColourPop Super Shock eyeshadow in the shade Too Shy. And we're going to apply this to our lids using our fingers for the best pigmentation ever. And we're going to pick up the shade Luckfully, also from ColourPop Cosmetics, and blend that into the outside corner. This is definitely one of those looks that looks kind of crazy before it looks good, so just keep working with it. I promise when it's all on, it'll look amazing. So now I'm going to put that Too Shy shade back on my lid because we did lose some pigmentation. And then I'm going to do my liner and lashes off camera because I told you guys in my last video it takes me forever to do both those things. You can see here with liner and lashes, it looks so, so good. Like I said, it's one of those looks you have to work with till the end to see the real results. So all I'm doing right now is tight lighting both my bottom and top lash lines. And then we're going to take the shade Luckfully on a very small, precise angle brush. And we're going to brush that along the lower lash line to smoke out the look a little further. And then we're going to put the shade Too Shy in with that shade Luckfully. And we're going to blend it into the inner corner of the eye and the bottom lash line. And then I thought this look needed a little something extra, so I went into my collection of ColourPop eyeshadows and chose the beautiful Kathleen Lights shade, which is a beautiful, stunning, rich gold shade like you see right here. So beautiful. I think it really added a really cool effect to this whole look, and I put that into the inner corner of the bottom lash line. And now I'm going to go ahead and just highlight my inner corner using that gold highlighter. I'm also going to use that to highlight my cheeks as well. I was going to use the Kat Von D scented lipstick in the shade Lovecraft, which is what I'm putting on my lips right now, but then I was like, hmm, I don't like it, girl. We're going to go with something a little bit more nude for this look, which is very different for me. This is the LA Girl Liquid Lip Paint in the shade Nude, which is a very, very light, almost like peachy toned nude color, something I don't normally wear. You guys know I do not like the really, really nude shades, but this one just worked beautifully with this look. But when that is all said and done, we are all done done here guys hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you did of course give it a like and subscribe if you're not already and i will see you guys in my next video i love you guys so so much bye